Very, um, it's very interesting of what's happening current situation of how the world is such, how people lifestyle has dramatically, drastically have changed, um, not to the worst, but to a more challenging. It's very important to stay healthy and have a strong immunity. This two works like twin partners. Without a strong immunity, you won't have a healthy lifestyle. Without, without a healthy lifestyle, you won't have a strong immunity. So these two collaborates like how yin and yang works. Um, before I start, uh, when you stop to think about how hard your immune system works for you, it's nothing short of an amazing experience. It's an incredible complex system that works non-stop to protect and defend your body from an infection. It is also a system that depends on good nutrition in order to function properly. As Malaysia, we do not experience the four seasons. Residents are actually very fortunate. They don't have to deal with illness that tend to come with cold weathers. However, Malaysia is banyak panas lah, so it can be tricky. It can be hot, dry, then we all celebrate, wet, rainy. So studies have actually shown that heat waves can reduce the body immune system response to the flu. This is why we, are, we need to make sure we are strengthening our immune system. Your immune system is made of our own personal army of soldiers. Ada banyak askar-askar dalam badan kita. Bukan main-main, it's not something that you can play a fool. Because this army of soldiers, they protect our body by identifying anything foreign from a virus to a bacteria to a parasite and then what it does it seek it out and destroy it our bodies depend on proper lifestyle proper nutrition and a strong immunity to keep our defenses strong so let's start um, i'm going to start with what is happening right now see making sure our immune system strong yes that is very important however we need to know our enemy, what our body is up against. Are we against of uh, something called a virus, something called bacteria, something called fungal? We are against of so many things. But at this moment right now, we are up against something called coronavirus, COVID-19. So before we even think of making our immune system strong, we need to see our enemy. We need to see how our enemy works, how it attacks our system, how it tries to overcome our beautiful army of soldiers in our system. So without further delay, let's start our session. So this is our enemy, not only our enemy, most important is our system enemy. Inilah musuh yang kita perlu membunuh and tackle and overcome. So COVID-19 virus, also known as coronavirus. There are many kinds of virus differing in structure, genome, and host specificity. However, many viruses tend to have several features in common. So this is roughly how a normal virus will look like. Of course, each virus has their own unique way and unique machinery, but we are just merely touching the basic. So this is a basic diagram of a virus. The exterior layer is a membrane envelope. Inside the envelope is a protein capsid. Inside this protein capsid is what contains the nuclear acid of genome. All viruses contain a protective protein shield or called capsid. It houses the DNA or RNA. When it comes to COVID, it is RNA. So some viruses also have a membrane and an envelope. Now, we already have understand the structure of, why, of how coronavirus is. Now, how does a coronavirus attack our body or invade our system? This is a, merely a very basic diagram. It's more like a child's <laughs> diagram of how, how the virus life cycle is. Let's go by step by step. You see how powerful the virus it only takes five steps for it to conquer our human cells so first step step one 
what happens in step one? The virus binds to the receptor on the cell surface. It recognizes and binds to a host cell. We are what is in our system, in human system, is called a host cell. So the virus recognizes and binds to the host cells via a receptor molecule on the cell surface. When that happens, the virus or its genetic material will be able to enter to the cell. How they enter is through a process called endocytosis. In this process mirroring, this is where the cytoplasm, the capsid, comes apart. As you can see before this, this is the capsid. So when the moment the cells enter our host cells, this capsid will actually decrease. And when that happens, it will now be able to release its RNA genome. So step three, the moment now RNA is very much freely roaming around in, in our host cell. So what happens next? It will start to replicate. It will start to mutate. So replication and gene expression takes place. What happens is that the RNA genome is copied. This can be done by a viral en enzyme. It's, um, it's called protease, protease 3. And what happens is that it's translated into a viral protein using our host ribosome. It means it replicates using our bahan-bahan. Dalam badan kita punya bahan-bahan, dia guna supaya dia boleh buat lebih, menjadi lebih aggressive, lebih stronger. Okay, so when that happens, step three, the viral genome copied its genes. When that happens, now step four, the new viral particles are assembled from the genome copies. So now the genome goes inside and a new home has been created. When that happens, the capsid and protein RNA genome come together to make new viral particles. Now, semua sudah siap. All new, new babies of viral has has been created. What happens next? Semua akan keluar. It's been released. How it released? Our host cell will burst. It's called a process called lysis. It will lyse, releasing the viral particles. Now, this is the deadly one because the moment we release, it's like what they say, release the kraken. So when the kraken has been released, the viral particles will exceed the cell and this is where spreading acute um, acute condition takes place. So now guys, this is how easy coronavirus can multiply, can replicate in within our body itself. So you can understand how dangerous and how superpower coronavirus is. Do not take this coronavirus lightly. You can see it can invade in our system with just merely five simple steps. That alone using our bahan bahan, which we typically accumulate, and in order to stay healthy, and this virus come and use all our bahan bahan, all our things, and recreate and procrastinate and start spreading. Now, after you have known the danger of coronavirus and how its capability to come into our system, this is merely a five key steps into entering a healthy lifestyle choices. Let me ask you guys one question. It's almost nine. Have you guys had your dinner? If it's yes, give you guys a pat on the shoulder. Good job. If no, mm -mm. you have now started entering a dangerous, healthy, poor lifestyle choices. And most importantly, those people who are in a different continent, who are just awaking in the morning, how do you wake up and did you have any exercise? You drink plenty of water. How is it? How do you start your life? Or you just wake up and start just lazing around, splurging, no exercising. This is all the steps of a wrongdoing in choosing a poor lifestyle choices. So here I am to give you a five basic but a very important key steps into entering a new lifestyle choices so these are the five steps i will be going through each and one of five steps briefly so step one we should stay active and hydrate everything is simple honestly everything is very basic these five key steps we are doing it every day every day people are waking up every day people are exercising every day you are drinking water but 
Are you sure you're doing it in the right manner, in the right way? This is where I will explain to you, and then you can see, like, ah, it will make all sense. You're like, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. I've been doing this wrong. Everything will make sense soon. So by working out now, working out, that's a powerful word, and it's also a powerful way to boost your immune system. It causes your body antibodies and white blood cells to circulate more rapidly. So what happens when you work out? Your whole body will go in an immense metabolism rate. You are working out your system. You're waking up your system. After 37.2 trillion body cells will now wake up and now work for it. So this is why it will start to circulate more rapidly. And this also means you'll be able, not you, but your body antibodies will be able to detect and zero in on bugs or bacteria more effectively and more quickly. Being active this way also lower your stress hormones, by the way, which reduces your chance of getting sick. Um, recently, in a study published by the British Journal of Sports Medicine, over 1,000 people were surveyed. And those who exercise at least five days a week had almost half the risk of coming down with a cold as those were more for sedentary. And at the end of the day, you must always remember, we are human after all. We are not superheroes. We are not superhuman. So if at all those thousand people, any one of them did get sick, they reported to have less severe symptoms. Isn't that much more better than just going bedridden and getting knocked out? You know, so being active has its own benefits and it also has a protective benefit from sweat. This is why research has shown that simply by raising your body temperature, you are helping to kill germs in their tracks. How is that? Because when you increase your body temperature, you now start to sweat. When you start to sweat, all our sweat particles open up toxin removals. This, trust me, there's not only toxin that removes through our sweat including cholesterol fats also removed through our sweat and also certain germs that can be removed through our skin particles also get to be removed now yes staying active working out is a fantastic means to boost our immune system however the key is to exercise but in moderation because like many other things there is a sweet spot. Doing too much can also put so much stress on your body. It depresses your immune system, actually. What's more, regular moderate exercise may reduce inflammation and help your immune cells regenerate regularly. So always remember, think like this. Why are we doing exercise? Why? Are we doing exercise to stay healthy? Yes. To stay active? Yes. However, if you notice those who have done exercise and less than half an hour, they are basically knocked out dead. That is not called exercise. That means you are just merely pushing your body over your limits. When that happens, every body cell will now have to work overtime. You have given them extra work, extra effort, extra time to rebuild itself. When that happens, if any bacteria or viruses who were less aggressive before in our system now have become the devil. It have come now and said, oh, wow, you are very much more weaker. You are not feeling good. Everybody is busy rectifying themselves. So here am I. I am super strong. I am the super superman now, and it will attack your system. This is why it's good to exercise, but do not push over your limit. Follow your system low according to your body. So examples of moderate exercises include breeze walking, you can do a steady bicycle, jogging, swimming, and light hiking. But who am I kidding? We are in a freaking lockdown. So of course, none of this can be done for now. So here's a few suggestions. There is in, a, in YouTube, YouTube is an amazing source of um, getting the latest updates. You can just merely type in home exercises without without exercise equipment. There is, I tell you, there's at least a million, thousands and millions of ways and steps 
exercise without the need of stepping out of your home. We have to just make use of what has been given to us rather than sitting and crying and, and giving excuses. Buckle up. This is going to be a long journey. We just have to make whatever that is been useful for us. So go to YouTube, just type home exercises without gym equipment and just have fun. It's been said that you should at least have 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. Okay, so guys, clean up your jogging shoe. I know it's been dusty for a while. Now let's start with by staying active. Now, as important of staying active, it is as important to stay hydrated because there's no point being active when your body is dehydrated. So dehydration can cause many other issues. Small issues like headache, you can't focus, you get moody, you get digestion. You might think all this is just a simple problem, but look on the other side of the book. When you accumulate all these issues, these complications will increase your susceptibility to illness. Hydration doesn't necessarily protect you from germs or viruses, but definitely preventing dehydration is important for your overall health living thing. As a general guideline, you should drink when you are thirsty and stop when you are no longer thirsty. This is another thing that I came across um, with one of my patients recently. Um, he told me that, I told him that he was dehydrated and he was like, no, I drink a lot of water or my, my urine when I saw it was colorless. I was, I was like, yes, you are partially right. When you drink a lot of water, of course, your urine will be colorless. However, that is not a good sign, guys. When your urine is colorless, it yes, it means you drink a lot of water. However, it means you're overworking your kidney. Always remember, a healthy urine composition, it is not colorless. It has to be a pale yellow. And the moment you see a colorless urine, you have to cut down your water intake. You do not work your kidney. I understand you have two kidneys, but don't push your luck, okay? So make sure you drink enough fluid. When you're thirsty, then you drink. Again, I'm repeating, follow your system. Our human system is way genius than anything else in the world. It can function by its own. We are merely a supportive tool to our system. So guys, when you're thirsty, then you drink. How do you know you're thirsty? Very simple. Your throat will start to feel dry, have the urge, obviously, and your lips will start to be a bit pale and skin a bit dry. Then you know, ah, it's time to drink. And if you guys notice, when you drink water, as you're drinking, you have the sensation to like kind of like a vomiting feeling. Immediately you stop. That is geniusly, it's our stomach indicating, hey, enough drinking, stop. I have enough of water. That is how amazing the sensitivity in each part of our organs. And make sure you drink water. Don't try to cheat your system by drinking tea and juices, claiming it to be, ah, I am drinking my water. It is best to limit your intake on fruit juices and sweetened tea because of the high sugar contains. Now, this is a, another interesting fact that I came to know. It is important to note that older adults begin to lose the urge to drink as their bodies do not signal thirsty adequately. It means as you grow older, your sensitivity for urge to drink gets lower. This is why older adults need to drink regularly even if they do not feel thirsty. So guys, if you have any of your grandmother, your grandfather, uncle and auntie, who if you see they're not drinking enough of water, please give a cup of glass of water for them and say, please drink because they, it's not that they do not want to drink. It's just that their sensitivity has went down. They do not feel thirsty. But that doesn't mean they do not need water. So given that dehydration can make you more susceptible to illness, so make sure you are drinking plenty of water and also make sure you're only drinking when you're thirsty. Now, apart from staying active and hydrate, this is another important one. Stay on top of your stress. There's a very, very strong link between your immune health and your mental health. They always say your mind, body, and soul. So everything is interconnected. When you are under a chronic stress or anxiety, your body will intend to produce stress hormone. 
and that suppresses your immune system. Um, according to one study that we did in Proceeding of National Academy of Sciences, 276 healthy adults were exposed to cold virus. They monitored them for around five days. When they have done that, those who were stressed, they intend to produce cytokines. Cytokines is a molecule in our system that trigger inflammation. When that happens, it's about twice as likely to get a sick because when you trigger inflammation, antibodies get releases. So our body goes on a mode where, ah, this person has fallen sick. Every system will be diverted into more of rectifying a sick problem. So when that happens, immune system gets lower and other invaders can be easily attacking. In addition to that, people who are stressed, definitely they lose focus to so other healthy habits like eating right, getting enough of sleep, which overall can affect your immune system. See, although you can't avoid stress in your life, definitely. I've never met anybody who is a stress life free, except those who have, um, have, have gone through immense of yoga, immense of uh, um, building up your system day by day, step by step. Still, definitely in any point of their life, they will have something that's called stress. You can actually adapt strategies to help you manage it better. Long-term stress promotes inflammation as well as imbalance in immune cell function. So you can do something like um, activities like meditation. Again, I'm saying YouTube, please guys, go and click YouTube. There's so many yoga sessions, so many breathing techniques. I tell you, when staying at home is amazing because I get to identify how useful YouTube is and so much more knowledgeable, so many intruding things that you could benefit it. So you can do journaling, yoga, there's so many mindful practices. Like I said, it's not easy than said. Everybody stress in their own way. However, there are a few methods that you could try. There's no harm trying, guys. At the end of the day, you are not doing it for anybody else but yourself, okay? If let's say it's a bit difficult, there's always a licensed counselor or therapist or a psychologist that you can actually virtually use now with the up-to-date technology you can offer that as well remember relieving stress and anxiety is the key to your immune system i wish i can look like this stay calm in the storm not everybody can achieve it however this is an achievable position and i hope you guys can achieve this as well now going on to the next one sleep is sleep hours? I really hope it is. I really wish hope, I really hope that sleep could be like, hey, sleep, come, let's sleep. Unfortunately, it's not that. Sleep do not belong to us. But sleep is another natural immune system booster. Your immune system is like a computer. It needs moment of rest so that it doesn't become overheated. Sleep actually reboots the system. When you are sleep deprived, your body churns out a stress hormone like cortisol. What cortisol does is that cortisol hormone helps you to keep awake and alert. Cortisol is one of the important hormones to keep you in focus. When that happens, it will definitely suppress your immune system. People who got full eight hours of shut eye had a higher level of T cell than those who slept less. T cell is part of the natural killer that our antibodies immune system for to help for the immune system. Um, according to a 2015 study, people who tried to get at least seven hours of sleep found that people who did so were four times less likely to come down with a cold than those who clock less than six. Always remember, Getting adequate rest may strengthen your natural immune system. Also, you may sleep more when you're sick to allow your immune system to better fight the illness. If you notice, those who have fallen asleep, they intend to get rest more. So resting is a very important key element in getting better. So why do you have to wait till you fall sick? Then only you want to look for a resting time. Why don't you rest beforehand? Prevention is better than cure. 
Another thing that I found out is that adults should get around roughly seven or more hours of sleep each night, while the teenage need longer, eight to 10 hours, and the children's and infants up to four, up to 14 hours. Now, this is a few things that people are doing mistake. When, before, when they're sleeping hours, they intend to look at their phones or look at the computers. So this, they don't think that it's wrong. It is actually affecting your system. Because why? Phones have this electromagnetic wave. Laptops have this blue light emitting from your phone. This can disrupt your pericardial rhythm or it also be known as your body's natural wake sleep cycle. If you notice those who have been using phone more than 20, 30 minutes, you will realize your whole sleeping pattern will just slightly start to turn around to the worse. And this also affects your optic nerve in your eye. So what happens is that now I have been noticing a lot of people switch off their lights and they look at their phone, which has the brightness. They do not reduce the brightness. So what happens? You have now forcefully make your eyes, your optic nerve, to focus. You have now pulled in the strength of your optic nerve to focus on the phone. So when that happens, now you have overworked your optic nerve. This is why this happens. These eye bags, everybody, after this talk, please go in front of the mirror and open your eyes big, big, busa busa, and tengo. Tengo mata anda. Look at your eyes and see how many red veins is hanging around in your eyes. If that happens, you know what you are doing is wrong and you should know what you should do is right. And this is another interesting fact I don't mind sharing um, about this. Other sleep hygiene tips. Um, this is a very interesting thing. No worries, those who have all those, Ill, all those um, lightning veins happening in your eyes. Very simple, guys. Do one thing. Take your cucumber. Uh, fresh from the fridge, nice and chill. Cut few, uh, I mean, not few, cut two cucumber slices. Relax, lie down for a while. Just put the two slices of uh, cucumber onto your eyes and relax. Now, you might notice this in every spa and, and every movies. And you might think, ah, it's just another gimmick. No, everything happens for a reason. The reason behind this, a scientific reason behind this is cucumber juice, the enzyme, is able to calm down our optic nerves. If you do this at least a week, three, four times, guys, you will notice that all those lightnings will start to reduce and you will have a nice fluffy white complexion in your iris eyes. So guys, do try it. Now, this is the main thing. Watch your diet. Not everything is about exercising. I have seen this a lot. A lot of people think that, oh, I'm exercising four, four times a week. I am Superman. I am healthy. Not at all. Every element has to be combined in order to make a healthy living being and a strong immune system. So make sure you watch your diet. Because why? 80% of our immune system is in the gut. So when it's healthy, we tend to be able to fight off infection faster and more effective. Because why? They say, happy gut, happy life. You know, They don't simply give this type of idioms just for wording. Everything has its own meaning. So when, um, when you do not have a healthy gut, our immune system gets weaker. And of course, we are more susceptible on fighting off infection. You have now produced a poor army in your system and how you expect to fight off of infection. In general, we recommend people focus on Mediterranean style of eating. What is Mediterranean style of eating, you may ask? It is a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats found in foods such as fatty fish, nuts, and olive. This eating pattern is high in nutrients such as vitamin C, zinc, and other antioxidant shown to help reduce inflammation and fight infection. Now, according to a 2018 study published in the journal Frontiers in Physiology, it is important to limit your meat because meat falls on the, on the category of inflammatory, especially processed and fried food. You have to limit on your meat if you want to produce a healthy gut system.
Generally, I will recommend a whole food diet. What's more, it is very smart to include fermented foods. I know a lot of people are very scared to eat yogurt, you know, kimchi, miso in your daily diet, but you should actually include in a moderation amount because this will help to build up the good bacteria, the happy ones, which is in our gut, which in turn, it will support a healthy gut and will support your immune system as well. Now, how can we help our gut by giving good food? You can do by eating more whole plant foods. Now, I have given uh, merely a few examples. Actually, there's much more, hundreds more um, varieties, but this is the main one which you can actually focus on, and it's also easy to get. Now, antioxidants. Antioxidant in this food help decreases the inflammation. How it decreases the inflammation? It does a combating and stable compound called free radicals which can cause inflammation when they build up in your body in high levels. So chronic inflammation is linked to numerous health conditions, including heart disease, Alzheimer, and certain part of cancer. So this antioxidant will help your army in supporting that system. So you, this example of whole plants is like carrots, garlic, lemon, tomatoes, walnuts, black grapes, broccoli, apple, turmeric. Turmeric is another magic potion of spices, onions, green tea, and peppers. Now, <laughs> apart from having a... Because why? Fiber not only help our gut in a microbiome way, in a healthy bacteria in your gut way, it also helps to rebuild your colon wall. Because you see, it's, it's, yes, it's important to keep your bacteria and your happy bacteria guts healthy. However, what's the whole point of keeping your bacteria, happy bacteria healthy when you don't have a good gut system? Your wall is not good. You have ulcer, you have acidic, you have bloatness. When you have all the secondary imbalance, there's no point keeping your gut healthy. So this is why you need fiber. Fiber helps to rebuild your colon wall so that our, our colon, we have our mucosa membrane, they call it. So that mucosa membrane helps for the bowel movement of your colon system. All this will be, will be effective when you top up your fiber intake. So fiber in plant food, yes, it feeds your gut microbiome, healthy bacteria. It can improve your immune system, and this will help keep Helpful pathogens from entering your body via digestive tract. See, it's not only viruses can come through in any many ways. It's not necessary through. Um, it's not only through ingestion, or it's not only through um, skin or inhalation. It also can come through our digestive tract. So very important to keep, again, I'm repeating every single element in our system up on a checklist, okay? Now, fruits and vegetables. A lot of people do not think of how important fruits and vegetables are. These are rich in vitamin C's and reduce duration of the common cold, that's for sure, because vitamin C acts as an antioxidant and also increase our antibodies. Several whole plant foods contains antioxidant, fiber, and vitamin C, which may all lower your susceptibility to illness. So make sure you always remember, bila anda jaga you punya sistem penghadaman, you akan memberi lebih kebahagiaan kepada our happy guts, kita punya bacteria yang happy, yang baik, pulih, yang boleh, me, me, how you say, like you can help the system. It can menjadi uh, a very good cheerleader for your system. So healthy lifestyle starts with a whole plant food and fiber. Off to the next one, healthy fats. This is another big dramatic work that everybody takut. The moment I say fats, wah, semua orang jadi panik. Apa ni fats? It's gemuk, it's obesity, it's not good, you know, all this thing. Do not fear fats, okay? Because why? There is something called healthy fats. Now, healthy fats will 
definitely boosts your immune response to pathogen. How does it do? It decreases your inflammation. Yeah, I'm looking at this beautiful creation of God called coconut. Ah, coconut, where should I start? Coconut is an amazing product of God. I have never seen a single negativeness of coconut. Recently, uh, when speaking to one of my patients, when I told them to consume coconut oil, they're like, eh, no, coconut oil is very bad. Boleh naikkan kolesterol ni, boleh buat dapat uh, sakit jantung ni, uh, diabetic, you know, all this thing will happen. This is all merely a misguided or misunderstood of how coconut oil is benefiting to us. Here's a simple thing. We have coconut oil. And what we, especially we Asians, we Asians, what is the biggest mistake we do with coconut oil? We cook it and we make it, or we use our as a cooking tool called santan, uh, coconut milk. Now, coconut by its own is a healthy fats. But what happens when you boil the coconut oil or you boil the coconut milk? The moment you start to bubble up all this coconut substance, now the coconut has become the poison. It has converted to 100% saturated fats. That is the fat that you should be fearing of. So do not blame the coconut. The coconut should, be should not be taken the blame. It's the wrong method. Kita yang salah menggunakan cara memasak untuk coconut oil. You guys notice back in India, uh, people who make, um, especially Kerala curries, um, there's something called chutney, they use for idli. If you guys notice how they make using coconut milk, they do not just put the coconut milk and start cooking and putting high flame. Once in, let's say, for example, chutney, all they do is just salty. They use low flame. When that happens, coconut oil do not boil. And in like Kerala dishes, especially Kerala curries, they will make the curry and just towards the end of making the curry, they will switch off the flame and just pour the coconut milk and just stir it. These people know the real deal. We are the one who is doing it wrong way by boiling it. So guys, when you want to use coconut milk or coconut oil, it's not wrong, but make sure you are using it in a low frame and do not boil it. Okay, so now that's enough facts about coconut oil. Let's go back to healthy fats. See, another thing, olive oil. Olive oil is another beauty of God's creation. It's highly anti-inflammatory. It is definitely, as many link of many research, decrease the risk of chronic disease like heart disease and type 2 disease. Plus, it's the anti-inflammatory properties that will help your body to fight harmful disease causing bacteria and viruses. Omega-3, such as those in the salmon and chia seeds, fight inflammation as well. All those DXN members will know when the moment they see the word omega-3, what is in salmon and chia seed is only omega-3. We have a secret potion, which is omega-3, six, nine. That will, you have to just stay along with me to know what is the beauty of DXM product we have, which contains not only omega-3, but six and nine. Now, next one. Apart from healthy fats, we need to eat more fermented food. Now, fermented food, and fiber is what contribute to a healthy digestive tract. Okay, fermented food are rich in beneficial bacteria, which are called probiotics, the good bacteria. So fermented foods, which is the probiotic, this includes the yogurt and those who love Korean spicy food, we have our kimchi. So you can use kimchi as a good excuse to say that, hey, I need to eat my kimchi because my, I need to keep my digestive tract healthy and happy. So there you go, I've given you excuses for it. Um, <laughs> research suggests that flourishing network of gut bacteria can help your immune system differentiate between a healthy cell and a harmful evader of organism. So how we know this? Actually, um, a study has been done with 152 people uh, infected with rhinovirus. So those who have been supplemented with probiotic had a stronger immune res response, hence lower levels of virus in their nasal makers than a control group. So a healthy gut and a healthy immunity is deeply interconnected. Do not think that, oh, if I, if I just keep my immune system 
my my digestive system will be good. No, it actually works the other way around. You need to keep your digestive tract system in a perfect condition or even a healthy condition in order for you to have a good immune system um, interconnected. Now, how fermented food and probiotic helps? It helps your system by identifying and target harmful pathogens. Remember, the army of soldiers we have in our system, at least 80% of the armies belong in our gut, guys. So make sure our digestive system is in a perfect, healthy condition. Because here's the thing, I believe that our digestive system, our cologne system is our motherboard. The moment our motherboard is screwed, is imbalanced, that's it. How you expect other organs or other circulation, other body cells able to get supplies if the colon system is imbalanced? If the motherboard is down, the whole system is down, which is why it's very important to keep our digestive or colon system in a healthy condition. Now, here's the thing. Limit your added sugars. And what do I mean by sugars? I'm not talking about sugars that comes from our fruits, from our fructose, sucrose. I'm talking about glucose. I'm talking about white sugar. I'm talking about synthetic sulfuric sugar. This is the enemy of all mothers of sugar. You should strive to limit your sugar intake to less than at least lima percent of your daily intake calories. Um, this is include this equals to about two tablespoons of sugar for someone who have at least 2,000 calorie diet. See, why I'm saying, you, sh you should ask me a very important question. What, how does the sugar affect our immune system? Sugar is different, immune system is different. What is the link? Now, let me tell you the link. For example, by just drinking one liter bottle of soda, 100 grams of sugar, the reactivity of our white blood cells, which we need, because white blood cell is important to kill bacteria and viruses through phagocytosis, have now reduced to 40% because of uncontrollable sugar intake in our system. How it affects? This sugar and vitamin C, which is a very important tool for our WBC, has the same chemical structure. See, if you notice here, here's an example of a diagram, a white blood cell. Now, white blood cell needs abundant supplies of vitamin C. And when you take intake of sugar, sugar which has the same chemical structure will also intend to masuk dalam. So now, semua orang tengah bergaduh nak masuk dalam white blood cell. Aku nak masuk, aku nak masuk, aku nak masuk. So when that happens, automatically, the vitamin C concentration goes down. What happens when we have lack of vitamin C in our white blood cell? you won't able to produce a quality white blood cell. The moment your army is not a good quality army, all banyak lembe-lembe, all lemah-lemah, how you expect it to fight our immune system and fight our viruses? So it's very, it comes from a very simple thing called limit your sugar. Sugar is important. Sugar is a form of energy. But what is more important is eating the right kind of sugar, guys. A very simple example. What is sugar? Sugar is made from what? Sugar made, sugar is made from sugar cane. Now, apple color sugar cane. What is the color? It's brown. So what is this white sugar? Is there something called white sugar cane? I've never seen before in my life, but if you do, please let me know. Brown is the color, natural color of a sugar. Now, what you are seeing in this white sugar is actually a bleached up sugar. It is bleached up with something called sulfuric acid. When you have changed the composition of a normal sugar, how do you expect our body, especially our pancreas, to detect it as a normal glucose? So you have actually now fumbled your entire process of your your gluconeogenesis, your process of your glucose, to be converted to energy, to be converted to stored fats, to be converted as an immune system stabilizer. So a lot of factors affect. Make sure you eat the right kind of sugar, guys. Now, we have come to the most favorite and weighted topic. I have actually covered 
what is attacking our system and how our enemy looks like, how does the coronavirus looks like and how that sneaky coronavirus attacks our system. We have known that and we have actually find uh, five key elements in staying healthy and help our system. Now, I understand by knowing your enemy, by staying healthy, is that enough? I'm sure it's not enough because most important thing or one of the key important thing is being strategic about your supplements. Why? Because what you eat is what your body eats. So you need to make sure that you are giving the right, the, the right supplements, the right food intakes, the right multivites for your system. Always remember, your body can work by its own. It does not need anything. We are merely a supporting tool. So we are like the maid for our body. Kira, kita ada pembantu rumah. Rumah ialah badan kita. Kita adalah maid. We are the pembantu rumah. So we must be a damn good pembantu rumah. How we do that? We make sure we give the proper cleaning, the proper detox, the proper supplements, and all that in order for us to have a beautiful home within ourselves. And in my opinion, for these past two years in DXN, I have found the answer. DXN has the answer. How? Now let's look at it. One of the most beautiful things about um, DXN is that it has Roselle juice, guys. Oh my God, Roselle juice is amazing. It consists of vitamin C, which helps to enhance the immune system of our body. According to the book of Healing Herbal Teas, fresh Roselle contains ascorbic acid in a form of vitamin C. As you guys have been following me past these past few slides, you will notice I have keep on mentioning vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C. Now, rather than going to a supermarket and hunting for fruits and vegetables, which you should, but due to this lockdown situation and limited supplies, here we have DXN Roselle juice. How DXN Roselle juice helps is that it has vitamin C, along with so many other benefits substance. It knows to have anti-inflammatory, mild antibacterial properties. It also helps supplement to help or treat cough and cold. It also has a cooling effect and this is very effective in reducing the discomfort of fever that may accompany in such element. Now I have written here vitamin C, beta, carotene, vitamin B12. Let me tell you it has much more things like protein, fat, Fiber, calcium, phosphorus, iron. Always remember this important word called iron. In Asia, especially in, in Asian countries, we are iron deprived. We are low in iron. And I think I have seen over, over more than 300, 400 pair of eyes being an ideologist. I have been mentioning this every single time. Your hemoglobin is low. Your hemoglobin is low. Your hemoglobin is low. This means your iron intake is low. This Roselle juice could be, or is, it is, the solution of your hemoglobin low. Because when you have the absorption of iron, you strengthen your body resistance to infection. It was definitely, this will happen, you will fight against viruses. Now, another interesting fact about um, Roselle juice is that, did you know Roselle juice can prevent constipation? Yeah. I said it right, constipation. How? Well, Roselle juice has something called magnesium, a water-soluble magnesium supplement. Magnesium is been doubted as the natural form of laxative property. And what natural laxative property does, it helps to relax the intestinal muscle. So, bila kita dah melembekkan, kita relax kita punya muscle, we can establish a smoother rhythm while passing bowels. It also has another property of attracting water, which in turn soften the stool and help to pass easily. So, here guys, not only Roselle juice helps for your, your multi, your iron, your intake, your immune system, it also helps for your bowel movement. It helps to prevent constipation problem. So Roselle juice is an amazing product. Now, off to the next one. Black cumin seeds. This is the, the, the mother of all seeds, I would say. 
Uh, black cumin seed also known as al bata sauda. It has been written in the Al Quran book that it is able to cure everything except death. I think there is no other more fantastic evidence other than saying this kind of bold statement. It's also written in the Bible as well for your info. And this seeds consists of powerful antimicrobial and antibacterial agent which kill bacteria on contact. So for example, nasal inflammation. Uh, we have inflammation in our nasal sinusitis. Um, black seed shows a promised treatment on allergies. Black seed oil was found to reduce the presence of a nasal congestion like itching, running nose, and sneezing. This was done by a study in 2000 level by, by the American Journal of Orthologoli. So another report says that black cumin seed also helps in the treatment of sin sinusitis. Why? Because black cumin is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antihistamine, immune modulator, antimicrobial, and an analgesic effect. Come on, guys. I have not seen any other seeds which can give me so much more benefit. And black cumin seed extract. Okay, how does it do is that? It improves the ability of our macrophages, our, our immune defense system to destroy the invaders. It increases the natural killer cell cytotoxicity to abnormal cells. Black cumin seeds definitely is able to increase the secretion from our lymphocyte. So black cumin is already uh, far more superior than any other food source combined. So those people who are working life are difficult, hey, just pop in some few black cumin seeds, there you go. You're all buffed up and boost up your immune system. So now, this one, this is another interesting fact that I wanted to share about um, black cumin seeds. Um, black cumin seeds help your liver. Now you may ask me, what liver got to do with the immune system? Liver is something else. Immune system is something else. So I understand black cumin helps uh, liver, but what is liver? Guys, liver is a key frontline immune tissue. It's ideally positioned to detect pathogens entering the body via the gut. Apparently, liver boleh detect. Dia macam boleh nampak, detect and capture any bacteria or viruses and macromolecules. This is the balance between the immune system, tolerance and essential for the liver function. And black human is an amazing product to rebuild our liver cells. Our liver organ is the only organ that is able to reproduce our, their own cells. So black human help enhancement for the produced production of your liver cells. Now, androgy. This is the king of bitters. Um, all those patients of mine who I ask them to chew androgy will understand where this king of bitterness comes from because it, it is extremely <laughs> bitter. Um, as a preventive for the common cold, there's many studies. There's the, I mean, this is we are talking about centuries, centuries ago uh, kind of research. And it shows that androgy helps increase the body resistance to infection. How? By stimulating the production of antibodies and macrophages, especially the large white blood cell that scavenge for the foreign material. So recently they have done a, a trial with 107 students. 54 of them took androgy twice daily and the remaining were not given anything. At the end of the day, out of the 54, only 16 experienced a sign of cold compared to 33 of the placebo group. Those who never take androgy, they were basically on a knocked out note. Now, androgy, you might say that, hey, I've just heard about androgy. I've never heard about androgy. Well, guys, androgy has been around for a very, very, very long time. The global flu epidemic which hit um, in the world history in 1980, it's more viral than the Black Death in the 14th century. It killed over 50 million people worldwide. No country escaped its onslaught. But amazingly, in India, androgy was credited with stopping the spread of the deadly virus. So this is not something that has happened yesterday or happened today. This is we are talking about a, a ancestral type of supplement called androgy. It is also written in the traditional Chinese medicine. It is known for its cooling and detoxifying herb. Um, it is very recommended for people who have asthma problems, who have inflammatory problems, infection of the lungs, throat, 
urinary, UTI, even skin source problem. Because why? Here, guys, Androgy is a not only it's a natural antibiotics, it's a natural um, booster of your uh, immune system. It is a natural balancer of your sleeping pattern, balancer of your blood pressure, balancer of your blood sugar, and it's a natural antihistamine. It's an all over on the amazing product called Androgy. When you increase this, you increase the cellular immunology indication, such as our red blood cell, white blood cell, and our thrombocytes, hence boosting up our immune system. Now, next, this is my most favorite. Those who know me very well, they know how crazy am I with lemon seed. Lemon seed. Now, I have explained what are the DXM products that's needed to boost our immune system. Is boosting our immune system enough? Not at all. Before even boosting our immune system, we need to detox our system. What's the point of building our immune system when there's no, nothing coming up? That we are not removing any waste product. We are not detoxifying us. This is where detoxification and rebuilding comes in a pair. Detoxification process, lemon Z, simple word, lemon Z. How lemon Z works is that lemon Z boosts our immune system. It increases metabolism and stamina. Those who have started lemon Z, they will start to notice, they start to sweat more. When you sweat more, you have wake up your 37.2 trillion body cells. Not only that, you have increased your stamina. You have increased your metabolism. Your body is now worked out. It will start to flush out toxins. And those people who have started lemon Z, they will also notice they start to urinate more. Because why? Toxin has been removed by your sweat gland, your sweat, and through your kidney filtration, which is your urine. So apart from boosting the system, it is definitely important to detox for a system function. And lemon Z also helps secure problem of indigestion, constipation. It has many properties, many vitamins. Um, lemon juice, I think this is the key one. Beauty of lemon Z is that it contains Ganoderma. Yeah, you guys, I know you guys have been waiting for Ganoderma. So off I go to the most important herbs ever. The king of herbal, which is the Ganoderma. Everybody most favorite pair, RG and GL. In, in, in a layman's word, I would put it such a way, RG and GL, Ganocillium and Reishi Gano, this both is the same Lingzi mushroom. They work as a pair. I would say RG is like the floor pine cleaner and the GL is the mop. So bila kita dah letak kita punya floor pine cleaner, kita nak kasih mop. So that is how RG and GL kerja sama. RG, letak tu detol semua nak kasih cuci dan GL ada kasih mop. We need to clean up our circulation by detoxification. For the thought of cleaning and rebalancing of the system, far more superior than any other detox means available. This mushroom is one of the most studied mushroom on earth and it's been researched for many years guys it has more than 154 types of antioxidant it contains beta glucon lanthanum organic germanium guys remember this word it's synergized together and become the best weapon it helps your body at the protecting cell and destroying your abnormal cell you see rggl it does not only build your immune system it does not only protect your system, it also destroys your abnormality system. Now, I'm talking about more of RGGL. It boosts our immune system by fighting against infection. Reishi is also known to help prevent cold and flu due to its synergy compound, greatly improving our defenses. Reishi's anti-inflammatory properties allow trypanoids and germanium to relax the muscle that support the bronchial tubes. See, when people have asthma or when they when they are having coronavirus symptoms, what happens? Our bronchial will get squeezed up, will get ketchup. So when you take RGGL, trypanoids and germanium composition in the RGGL help to relax the muscle and support the bronchial tubes. This will definitely reduce the severity of asthma or any um, lung ingestion or lung low lung capacity problem um, in addition to all the other immunitary effort reishi compound has now reishi 
Reishi, I can speak whole day about how Reishi can boost our immune system. But not only for our immune system, it's also effective for controlling our blood pressure, improving circulation, reducing blood fats, blood fats, and preventing arteriosclerosis because it has a natural adenosine and triterpenoid ganoderic acid. It contains plenty of antioxidants such as polyphenols, flavonoids, and vitamin C. What does it do? It attacks the free radicals. Organic germanium, again guys, coming back to the organic germanium, remember? It helps cellular oxygenation. It means it helps with the longevity. Organic germanium is, uh, helps in the oxygenated cell, which in turn gives you the energy. Now, RGGL has helped to pump in oxygen to your body cell. When that happens, what happens? Voila, you become energy, you become strong, you become very active. So naturally, it stimulates your metabolism. So by activating our metabolism cells, it begins to use more energy, more reserves energy. And here's an interesting fact. RG is also effective as a defense against our helicobacter pylori, or known as a H pylori. So which means RGGL also helps our gut, our happy bacteria, our 80% of our army. And the cells of the stomach will work better thanks to the synergy compound controlling the acid secretion. It also helps our gastric juice as well. Now, Reishi, Gano, Ganoderma is being called the virtual pharmacy. Why? Because in a single supplement, it can favorably affect your overall health and across your broad spectrum of your condition. So to strengthen and balance your immune system and prevent infection, I definitely, definitely give a strong consideration in adding RGGL into your current supplement regime. So the action product has so many benefits and have so many varieties. But when it comes to immune system, I would say these are the key elements one. Now, enough of talking about um, uh, scientifically. Now let's talk about a bit more logical. Let's talk about how to handle the current situation. Guys, immune system boosting, it does not happen overnight. I repeat, it does not happen overnight. It's not something that, hey, come, let's go, let's have a good immune system. No, not at all. It does not happen overnight. Lifestyle, food pattern, daily practices plays a very, very important role. Especially in countries like Malaysia, where we have tropical weather, it increased microorganisms living with variation numbers of them. Thus, our body system becomes more resilient. If you notice people in Asia, we are able to handle viruses a bit more stronger. That's due to the uh, weather system. However, we are not, we are nowhere close in running away from this um, pandemic issue. And another thing, people who are living in, la in land farming community will have a better immune system. Why I say that? It is so important to always be well grounded. We need our system to be on the ground. Living above ground, like apartments away from the ground, we lose the positive energy that the ground emits. This is why people staying in apartments or high-rise buildings are more prone for infections or they have a weaker immune system. This is where, like a simple suggestion, guys. I know this is a lockdown, but those um, people who have uh, land, who have a small garden at home, Please incorporate this with your daily walkings. Do at least a 30 minutes walk. Make sure you remove any um, shoes and slippers. Walk barefoot. This is very important, guys, because when you walk barefoot, you adapt the energy of the ground. It's called a grounding effect energy. Earth energy, earthing treatment. So when you, when you do this, you not only help your immune system boost up, you also help your overall nerve balancing. So guys, start from tomorrow morning, get off your shoes, get off your sleeper, walk on the grass for at least 10 to 15 minutes and soak in the free vitamin D that the sun gets. Okay, here's a, a interesting thing that I wanted to share you guys. I have come across this beautiful secret remedy from my recent trip, trip from a spiritual space in Coimbatore. Um, this is, uh, like I said, immune system don't happen overnight. This is a four to six practice. Do take notes. This is a very um, useful note that alternative method to increase your immune system. Uh, what do we use? We use neem leaves. 
they use turmeric and they soak gooseberry gooseberry um, indian gooseberry uh, also known as amla and in tamil it's called called nalike in a honey overnight and you can include black pepper it is something like a black cumin seed so include black pepper you can consume this in empty stomach three spoon three times a day again don't do this every single day you can just do like maybe in a week two or three times and you will notice in within four to six weeks trust me guys you will notice a significant increase your immune system and of course not only that you should be incorporating with a daily yoga practices um, again guys youtube amazing yoga benefits so many types of yoga you guys can go while doing yoga treatment so guys take note of this this is a very um, useful and very beautiful uh, alternative method to increase your immune system now this is a important factor to think just think okay coronavirus has been living in animals it means um we we have got coronaviruses because of animals and how come coronavirus has been living in animals and they were fine but when the virus had a human contact it is just merely doing what it does to animals how it was living in animals that's how it's living in humans but how come we humans are collapsing those who have greater immune system are recovering and those who are weaker are unfortunately becomes the victims of time so here's a question guys most bacteria and viruses enter and living within us who are in our system right now are assisting our life process and not harming us but at one time they could have been harmful to us. The beauty of coronavirus is that, see, any viruses, not only our human system is genius, even viruses are genius. They know if they become aggressive, they will destroy their hosts, which is us human. So what they do, they mutate. They do mutation to have a milder progression and learn to live within our system. That is how coronavirus has been living comfortably in animals. And this is how, in the future, coronavirus is going to be living comfortably in our system. It's in five to 10 years time, coronavirus will just be another flu flake. Guys, this is the nature of life. So this is the current pandemic situation. A lot of people, um, apart from boosting our immune system, staying healthy, doing all the preventive measures. Here's the thing, guys. Have anybody thought what happens if you're COVID-19 positive? Yes, I understand preventive is better than cure, but we have to also have a reality check what happens after we have positive for COVID-19. Um, does the recovery on COVID-19 make you immune? Can the virus be reactivated after you recover? Or can you get reinfected with COVID-19? Why I'm saying this statement? Because recently, as of April 12th, um, troubling headlines have been cropping up across Asia. Patients who were diagnosed with COVID-19 seems to recover, but they admit again and they were positive. Because why? Even after the virus is dead, the nuclear acid, the RNA fragment still remains in the cell. COVID-19 antibodies remain in patient system for about two to three years based on what's known about other coronavirus. If you have the antibodies that neutralize the virus, you will have immunity. But guys, how long? How long does the antibody last is still in question? Because it's too early to know for a certain, the degree of immune system could also differ from a person to person, depending on the strength of the patient antibody response. Younger, healthier people were likely to generate a more robust antibody system. Now, Guys, I'm on my final slide now. I can I can feel somebody are breathing like, oh, finally she has stopped talking. But on a serious note, do not take this lightly. Again, I repeat, don't take this lightly. It's a challenge for every one of us to stay alive and healthy in this period. Stay healthy and strong immunity through these six, eight months. Guys, this is the crucial, crucial time. We have responsibilities. You have responsibilities. We have to live consciously and responsible for the betterment of our future. Every new day is another chance to change your life. 
Very simple, guys. Let's stay healthy and boost our immune system with what? Of course, with DXM. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for this it's a good presentation and very informative by Star Diamond uh, Pavisha. Yes, we can see uh, the related the relation between what we need uh, to do in life and what the asset can provide or can uh, complement to this uh, five step or five tip that are shared by uh, Pavisha. So uh, I hope uh, this is very good to understand uh, this situation, why we need a DSM product, not because we are DSM, but this is world required us to strong our immunity to fight against virus or any health, uh, health problem or health disease. All right, so we come to the question. Uh, I think uh, Ms. Pavisha is still here to answer your doubt, answer yes, your question, but uh, mostly, Hope this uh, question related ataupun yang berkenaan dengan this uh, tonight punya uh, webinar. Oh, baguslah. Yeah. Nampaknya oh. mereka dengar juga lah. <laughs> okay, uh, is there any question? Uh, we can see, I, I think uh, they all are really, really understand. So, tomorrow they start consume all the products. RGGL, uh, Roselle, Androgy and Black Cumin also in Spurina. A lot of product, but uh, the DSM. Ah, uh, but uh, uh, the uh, the DSM, the lemon zeal lovers. <laughs> yeah, this oh, yes. Hmm. This one and only. Ah, uh, the Olimau dengan Lingzi, the one and only. Uh, yes, dengan Karimau, one and only in the entire world. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, let me see the question. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, they want slide. <laughs> it's okay, guys. Uh, this uh, webinar has been recorded. So by tomorrow, you can uh, see on uh, the SN Facebook, the SN Malaysia. Yeah, no problem. So from there, you can again okay, do a revision. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, we can, I think only one question here about Androji. Can we take Androji in empty stomach? Okay, um, again, uh, this is a very simple thing. Always remember, you can take anything you want in this world, but most importantly is how your gut condition is, how your acidity, how's the condition of your colon system. Um, if you are suff if you are easily suffering from bloatness or gastric or acidic problem, I would recommend taking androgy after meal at least um, an hour after meal. If you do not have any gastric problem or whatsoever, there's no harm taking an empty stomach. Uh, most important thing is that you need to know the condition of your colon system. If your colon system is perfect, you do not have any uh, indigestion problem. You can take androgy empty stomach. If you do have Please take after me. All right. Okay, very simple. Okay. Uh, so any more question from attendees? Because uh, tonight is more on a lifestyle cikgu. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she has been said about the lifestyle, what we need to do and what the ASN can complement. Okay. I hope uh, it means the business is very good. So everybody is now. Ataupun semua orang semua orang dah tidur kot. No, no, no. Because now uh, we sixty plus uh, attendees now. All right. Uh, a few moments before we end this uh, question. Uh, any more question from from okay. the floor? It's okay because uh, we keep remind uh, those product uh, yang kita kata macam basic that we need. Uh, at least to betul, uh, betul. to do as a lifestyle. Uh, not only kita kata macam kita okay. sakit dulu nak pakai is not. Okay, because uh, the SM product is more than normal uh, ordinary supplement. Yeah, because everybody say pre prevention is better than cure. Don't wait till you fall sick and then you be like, oh, I need to start healthy. I need to do this. I need to do that. You should start now itself. And and having DXN with us, it is right. so much more easier for us to step into a healthy lifestyle. 
All good. Okay, comment from the floor. All good. Oh, thank you for good sharing. <laughs> wow, was extremely <laughs> useful. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good compliment. Uh, okay, very clear presentation. Thank you, Pervisha. Uh, okay, all right. So we are in the DXN. Okay, we have uh, uh extreme Malaysia. Uh, you can go or find our new uh, nearly branches. We have seven branches in Malaysia. Or else you can go to our website www.dxn2u.com or www.dxn2uasia.com. Okay, you okay, you can find uh, all the information about the product, about the company, everything inside our website. And also, uh, for those who are still uh, new in DXN, welcome uh, to DXN because we provide a lot of uh, uh, happy in this life uh, to complement in your life. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, all of, of course, if you have any question, uh, regardless uh, uh, anything, okay, product, marketing plan, uh, company, everything, you can go to our website or you can visit our stockies or you can visit our uh, branches. Okay. So please uh, go through our website and also. I would like to highlight also about the online platform that uh, kita yang kita ada. Uh, sekarang ni memang semuanya online. So because that's why kita gunakan webinar to promote knowledge, to promote input. Uh, because everything yang kita kena ada because kita kena sustain ilmu yang kita ada supaya kita boleh promote and master uh, to, untuk kita deliver kepada market. Okay but uh, please uh, fully utilize the facebook live all right the ig uh, ig story uh, whatsapp whatsapp status everything uh, let people know what you are doing okay all right so another comment is uh okay please uh please write down the uh question okay if you have a question please type type your question all right uh, thank you pervisha cukup sempurna informasi serta presentasi Saya saya ada juga daripada okay ada daripada overseas juga okay welcome yeah. to our webinar okay and enjoy this uh, presentation very knowledgeable alright so another more one more question uh, okay uh -huh. yeah. okay okay so since it's a very slow process you know, showing the reaction in our body how do we uh -huh. testify the effect of the SM product uh, maybe some of the people they don't have the reaction ah uh, okay. See, this, this is a very beautiful question which I have actually come across with my patients who consume because some of them like to ask this question. Oh, lepas aku makan, um, uh, what I should feel? Apa aku sepatutnya rasa? I sepatutnya macam, I rasa tiba-tiba cergas, selalunya I very active or do I, um, life goes back to normal? What should I feel? See, our body system is like our fingerprint. Every one of us are unique in their own way. So without you realizing, some people will have uh, immediately effect overnight they will feel very good they will feel very energized some people will go down some people will feel very weak and they think oh must be the lah. the is making me weak lah. no this is what we call the healing process we our body need to heal in order for our body to be cured healing process is an important step in making sure we are on the right pathway of prevention better than cure in order to prevent things, we need to heal things first. So when you start to heal, some people might not feel any difference. But at the end of the day, you will notice such like, okay, very simple thing. Try to notice when you fall sick. Again, by taking the same product doesn't mean you won't get sick. You are not Superman. You will get sick. But by consuming DXN, how your body is reacting to the sick. I can tell you based on my experience. I used to fall sick, um, not so often, but quite often. I will take at least, if I go for a hospital and take um, medicinal hospital, modern medication, it will take me three days. But the following month, I will fall sick again. However, when I start taking DXN, I think the last I got sick, that should, I think around uh, 11, I think you know, 10, 11 months back. But when I fall sick, I my immune system is so strong, I do not, Feel it like I know I'm sick, I'm having running nose, but I'm still able to run around my daily intakes, do my daily routine. When previously I cannot. If I sick, that's it. Knockout, mummy's uh, famous 
uh, vegetable soup and rest big rest there i go however now with dxn i'm not like that i just top up my dxn i do some sweat exercise everything next day i'm perfectly good to go so actually without you realizing you can notice the tiny tiny improvement in your immune system once you start to consume dxn so i think that's all for tonight so please uh make sure you go to our uh, YouTube also to find all the information about ganotherapy, about uh, healing crisis, about refle uh, uh, reflection, everything. Okay, yeah. so this is a lot of information. So please find. Okay, so once again, thank you to uh, Miss Pervisha. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so thank much you for, for your the good presentation. Thank you. Yeah, really thank enjoy. Thank you to my, my, my guru, Dr. Siva. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. But he's here also. <laughs> yeah, right? he better be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so also thank you to all the attendees. Uh, we have around 50 plus. Thank you. So please make sure the information you can share to your network and please, uh, to in order to stay healthy, of course, now is a good time to practice uh, to consume all the SM product and make it in your lifetime. Okay, once again, thank you. So Hope to see you again to the next uh, webinar. Stay tuned with us. Many more uh, webinar comes in. And uh, stay home and stay healthy. And of course, uh, we can do it better. So see you all at the top. Bye-bye.